Hey, what's up everybody? We're here to go ahead and do an installation of this radiator and our fans into the side plate of our half stacker case. So we can see that we have our Corsair fans here. These are SP static pressure fans. A little bit different than your high air flow. Uh, these are uh, put in for pushing dense amounts of air through a radiator or fins. So you want to make sure that if you're uh, looking to move a, a lot of air through that you use this as well. So we're looking to blow air in from the outside and through the radiator. So we're going to install it in that direction. So we're going to basically put the fans on first and then the radiator on top. And then we'll use screws to tighten those in. You want to be careful that you use the screws that came with the radiator. You don't want them to be too long, which it could damage the fins on your radiator, poke a hole in it. And that is, uh, that is very, very bad. So make sure they're using the, the screws the right length that uh, you need for your particular build. So the fans themselves normally have a directional arrow on them telling you which way the uh, fan will exhaust or intake. Uh, these ones do not, but the way that we're going to install them is so they're sucking air in from the back and then through the fan and through the radiator. So we're going to go ahead and put our screw in on uh, the outside. We're going to line up the radiator on top. Make sure we put it the hole directly onto it. Hold it together and just give it a Good screw. I'm not going to tighten this down extremely tight. Uh, we're just going to uh, put it in there nice and firm so we can still move everything around and line everything back up again as well. Now that we have the one started, we can go ahead and just uh, work our way down the side without having to turn it sideways to make sure it lines up with the hole. Uh, this last one, you may want to double check just to make sure the second one goes in. And you usually hear it feel it hit the hole that it's supposed to screw into and you'll feel some resistance when tightening. Again, not extremely tight, just snug so we can still move the fan around. We're going to be putting a total of four screws in each and we'll be putting in three fans into this. Here's our first fan, two more to go. So now that we have it in there, all we can basically do is just go ahead and slide it in. Make sure that your fan cable is out. We can go ahead and slide this through. Make it a little bit easier if you do them individually rather than trying to do them all at once. Again, you want to make sure that the cable, the fan ribbon cable, is not uh, pinned underneath the fan or the radiator. Make sure it's uh, free and out from underneath all that stuff. So I tighten it down a little too tight. I don't have to pull it off to line everything up again. To move the whole entire backing here, looks like these are a little too tight as well. There we go. Now we can slide it around a little bit, line everything up. Our additional two holes are lined up, so now we can just go ahead and insert those in, make sure they're hitting the right hole in the radiator. Four more screws to go. Make sure you find that correct hole. There we go.
And then our last one, Now once we have everything where we want it to be, we're just going to check and make sure that everything's lined up and straight. Move it around a little bit if we need to. We can go ahead and start tightening these down. No, I'm not going to put these extreme amount of force on these, just nice and snug to creep down any fan vibrations. Let's work our way down the side. Now depending on your case and what you have installed, you could put in an additional set of three fans uh, to, to do a push and pull, so pushing from the inside and then pulling from the interior portion out. Uh, I'll have two sets of these radiators in my build, uh, so I'm not going to put those in just yet. Next part is to put in our fittings into our radiator. Let's tighten them down and get them nice and snug as well. I see I've taped off this wrench, so we can tighten them without actually damaging the anodization on them. And that's it for this radiator install. If you guys have any questions, throw them down in the comments. If you found the video helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see the rest of this build, it'll be down in the description below the video, so you can go ahead and check that out. If you want to see future videos of computer parts or phones or uh, reviews, go ahead and subscribe to me. Uh, I'll throw up a couple a month. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I hope to catch you on the next one.